Cotswolds are famous for their magnificent grasslands. An array of butterflies, wildflowers and very specialist grassland species has really come to define and depend on this very fragile habitat. They were created long ago when humans cleared the forests. These grasslands are based over limestone and once they actually covered 40% of the total area of the Cotswolds. But this now stands at about 1.5%, so the Bat from the Brink project has made these limestone grasslands of the Cotswolds one of its priority habitats to protect and restore to secure a future for the species that live here. But before our project team, led by Butterfly Conservation, could really tackle the huge amount of work necessary, it needed support. Limestone's Living Legacies Project's delivery partners have all brought conservation expertise and much needed support to us on the ground. Restoration of this fragmented habitat would really not be possible without willing landowners who are keen to learn more about how to manage and improve their land for these rare and threatened species. Our teams of dedicated volunteers have also been invaluable to the project. Before any species recovery actions or habitat management could be planned, we needed to understand the state of the populations of the project's key species, whether they had the space, food and the conditions that they need. Surveying doesn't just provide us a baseline from which to start. The regular monitoring throughout the project of our priority species has actually allowed us to see whether our actions on the ground are working. The task of building this vital body of data would really not have been possible without the volunteers who have come along to our training workshops and then taken on these surveys across the Cotswolds for us. The Cotswolds has more than 50% of England's Jurassic unimproved limestone grassland, which shows just how important it is to protect this threatened habitat and pave the way for its recovery. Back from the Brink has worked to restore habitat and link up patches that have been fragmented. But it hasn't only been teams of volunteers armed with strimmers and loppers who have been responsible for cutting back scrub and young woodland. Grazing livestock are an essential part of the management of these grasslands. Back from the Brink partners have reintroduced traditional grazing patterns to keep growth in check and allow early successional plants to grow, which in turn helps invertebrates. Removing young trees may seem at odds with the current drive to plant more trees, but species like many of those here in the Cotswolds have evolved and adapted to these open grass and habitats. So while tree planting is important, it has to be the right trees in the right places. One of our most iconic butterflies, the large blue, became extinct in Britain in 1979. Here in the Cotswolds in 2018, back from the brink released larvae of the large blue. After such a huge loss of unimproved grass and habitat, we knew that we had to give the butterfly a helping hand to gain a foothold. So instead of just reintroducing the large blue, we also returned the butterfly's food plants. The wild thyme has been grown on by uh, volunteers from one of our local partners, the Stroud Valleys Project, who've got a local nursery. They propagated it and then we brought the plants back and we're planting them today with, with the volunteers. And we've also got some marjoram as well we'll be planting. The Cotswolds is known the world over as quintessential English countryside. Back from the Brink has been working with local artists, schools, filmmakers and photographers to put the Cotswolds on the map as a leading example of habitat restoration. This is a man-made landscape, so it needs our help to survive and to thrive. Hopefully, the more people who know about it, the more people will want to protect it for the future.